Good evening, I'm Barbara Brozier. Both of Indiana's U.S. Senators balk at support for universal background checks for all gun sales. This comes amid renewed debate over gun regulations in the wake of mass shootings in Texas and Ohio. Legislation approved by the U.S. House would greatly expand the number of gun sales required to go through background checks. Republican Senator Todd Young won't say whether he'd support that expansion, but Republican Senator Mike Braun hinted he's open to the possibility of reviving a federal ban on assault rifles. Both senators have received campaign contributions from the National Rifle Association. Bloomington's mayor will host a Facebook Live discussion Monday to talk about how to make the farmer's market a safe, welcoming place for all. The city suspended the market for two weeks after growing controversy over the presence of Schooner Creek Farm, whose owner has alleged white supremacist ties. Mayor John Hamilton will take questions during the Facebook discussion, which will focus on how to support vendors and best relaunch the market. A temporary market will take place for the second time this weekend at Bloomington. Blooming Foods East. And using electronic smoking devices in places where smoking is banned could soon be prohibited in Columbus. The city council voted last night to add the devices to its local smoking ordinance. Some restaurant owners have been confused about whether they can confront patrons who are using e-cigarettes in non-smoking establishments. The council will take a final vote on the amendment in two weeks. Now let's take a look at your forecast tonight. It's going to get down to a low of 67, a 30% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Heading into the weekend, though, we could have some sun, mostly sunny skies tomorrow, a high of 86. Rain could start on Sunday. Thanks so much for joining us. Have a wonderful evening.